All right, let's do read this, bitches. What is this? What's Acid what you... for Children? That sounds Acid bad. for Children is the book, the audiobook that I'm listening to. It's the Flea memoir. Oh, I thought it was actually something for children for a second. <laughs> I thought you were promoting LSD uh-huh. for usage. children. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's our yeah, new no, sponsor. Was... <laughs> um, no, it's it's really good. Um, I'm about, I think it, like the audiobook's like nine hours long. I think I think I'm like four hours or so into it. Um, it's still Flea talking about his childhood so far, which is really like it's he didn't have the greatest childhood but he was kind of like upbeat about it all so it's like it's very interesting storytelling i think you would like it quite a bit cheapy i read Uh, the steven tyler one and i like that yeah i I think you would you would be interested in this he's got a very uh like poetic writing style and he's the one that reads the audiobook as well oh wow um so i've never listened to an audiobook Really? I, I think... mean, I have, but never to completion. Okay. You you might want to check uh, Acid for Children out. All right. Like, I checked it out of the library. You can you can do the same. I'm sure. I'm, re- I'm reading this Murakami book, and it's on the Kindle, so I, I, don't, I don't know how long it is, Like you know, but it seems like it must be a billion pages because I feel like I've been reading it forever, and I'm still like, I'm all consistently – Within the fifty percent range of being through it, I don't know. I just can't turn the corner on it. But I will. Uh, Acid for children sounds good. Yeah, it's it's good. It's like I you'll like it too because it's. I mean, so far it's it's a lot about growing up in the like seventies, early eighties type of time frame. Right. So, um, is he from Long Island? No, uh, he's from no, California. He was, he was from Australia, then New York, and then California. Long Island's in New York. It, yes, he was from. Um, I oh. forget. He, it was Manhattan for a little while, but he also lived in some suburb area in in New York. Around Long Island's a suburb area of New York. So, so it was Long. long uh, yes, he's from Long Island. Oh, great! Yeah, from in. Merrick. I had no idea <laughs> that he was from Merrick. Right. That's awesome. Wow. <laughs> uh, at Carl at Carl Kramer writes in and he asks, "What do you guys think of DC Comics' upcoming 5G event? Wait, is it like the fucking cell phone where they yes. plan to replace all the classic superheroes with? Stop clicking on things, ship. I can't see with younger, more diverse <laughs> characters. <laughs> His name is popping up over the text. I like. Yeah, I saw. I saw. Yeah, yeah. I did read that article. I mean, whatever. First of all, I don't really read DC Comics that much anymore because I just don't. Right. And so, and also, if it works, great. And if it doesn't work, it's a comic book. They could find a reason to reboot it all again, just right. like they're doing this. So it doesn't even matter. It, and even if it does work, they're still going to wind up rebooting it all again eventually. Yeah, anyway. it's, they're never going to get rid of Bruce Wayne forever. I don't know why people honestly think that. It's just, it's not going to happen. Don't worry. Right. Lucius Fox's son could be Batman. He could be Batman for a year. Maybe there'll be two Batman. There's precedence where it's worked. Just ask uh, Peter Parker. Uh, <laughs> it, it either works or it doesn't. And if it doesn't work, they'll write the ship. And if it does work, you won't care because it'll because it worked. Right. That's why Spider Man's so, superior because you can have all these different Spider Men in it. Works. Yeah, like they li- they literally found a way to make as many Spider Men as they want. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just, just yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Just keep making Spider Man. Yeah, like look, oh, now there's like ninety Spider Man. Congratulations, we solved it. <laughs> Everyone gets a Spider Man. Right. Everyone gets a Spider Man that looks like them, even though they all wear masks that cover their face entirely. But they all look like you. <laughs> right. It's great. It's great. What? You're a little girl. You get a Spider Man. <laughs> what? You're a fat man. Look, you get a Spider Man too. Spider Fats. Enjoy. <laughs> I saw the movie. Yep, Spider Man for everybody. It's a good strategy. It is a great strategy. <laughs> like that, is, that is an amazing strategy that they can pull that off. Just yep. Here, it, we, it's we've it's got one like... thing to come up with it. It's another thing to pull it off. Right. It does take talent. It's not like you know uh, Brian Michael Bendis, who really, I guess, really should get the credit for making it work. You know, is a very talented writer. I don't think anyone's going to argue that. No, not at all. 
And he, yeah, I mean, that's really what it takes. If you have someone that can pull it off, that has the talent, then yeah, it's going to work. So who knows? He's, is he doing this? Is I don't he, think so. He's doing Batman now, right? Or yeah, he, he I think he's going off of Batman, though, before this happens. I don't know who the new writer is. It's in the article, but it's not like a name that jumps out at me. But again, if the talent's there, it it'll, it might just work. I, I saw that... Uh, uh, Batman for everybody. I saw that Rob Liefeld's going to do a, I think, a Snake Eyes comic. Enjoy that. I hope you like your uh, your snake eyes with a chest bigger than his <laughs> than his rest of his body. Who doesn't? Yeah, and nipples <laughs> and pouches. Well, well snake eyes snake already eyes has, has a lot. Snake of eyes does have lots of pouches already, so it's gonna work. Right, it's gonna, it's work. gonna work out just fine. Yeah, yep. snake, snake eyes has nipples. Yeah, does he though? You don't know that. I don't. I would. Assume, I mean. You don't know that. Maybe he lost them in the same accident where he lost his face. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Those are two different parts of the body, though. I feel like... Maybe yeah. for you. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I don't either. 